Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Starting off today's video on a Saturday, a gloriously sunny day, it is beautiful outside and it instantly boosts my mood, don't know about you, but the sunshine just instantly makes me so much happier, especially in the season where a lot of us get SAD, where you know like the dark, depressing days just really get you down, but when the sun shines out, makes everything better so i hope you are all doing really well if not i'm sending you the biggest cuddle but today i wanted to take you along for um a weekend i have no idea what we're doing because it's a spontaneous weekend we have no plans apart from the food shop so i can take you along for that but this morning adam's gone to see his brother to help him do something and i have the house myself to first thing i need to have breakfast and do my makeup because this face is bear and i as you can see have lots of clothes and the setup behind me to film lots of content like i am so low on content i've got like four posts left for instagram so i really need to get ahead of myself so i have four outfits ready for shooting photos which me and adam are going to do later this afternoon and at the moment i have six reels to film um so that is the plan so i have lots of content coming on my instagram so follow me on instagram i'll leave it here for you so it's Barceline, the same on tiktok and everywhere else so i'm, I'm going to show you my little setup and what i'm going to be filming so firstly i've got this outfit here this is for when we shoot pictures i'm going to be wearing this this H&M dress, this Jaylee coat that I was gifted um, a few months back, I think. Um, this Kurt Geiger bag, I'm going to team it with my guest boots that are down there just hidden. Um, and then I've got this outfit here. I love how I've literally put on all around the house. I've got this coat that I got from Vinted. I'm going to do a Vinted haul because I bought loads of things off Vinted recently. Um, and this jumper is from Vinted as well. Um, I'm going to wear that with some Lovell leggings and my little Hermes dupe. That's to shoot pictures in. And then I've got this gorgeous... Jules Co that I got off Vinted for £32. Absolute bargain. It's gorgeous country style coat I'm going to wear with a cable knit. I've got this watch gifted from Larson and Jennings, which I'll leave a link down below if you want to shop any of them, but I'll show you that later on um, if I remember because my memory is literally like a sieve. <laughs> my memory is just shocking. Get that back in the pocket. Come on. There we go. So, and then after that one for shooting pictures, I've got this. Oh clinging onto the hat i've got this one here this h&m fleece i'm gonna wear it with this same cable knit um woolly hat and um some flares so that is the picture the, the pictures these are the outfits i'm gonna shoot pictures in and then the bits that i'm gonna get reels in are here so i'm gonna start like a satin skirt here like a christmasy style um outfit and then i've got a Primark blazer here that I'm going to style up like a get ready with me for like an afternoon tea or something like that. And then I've got my coat that I got from Vinted. This Holland Cooper old style trench that I'm going to style up. Um, and then I've got another reel which is going to be choosing which dress to wear to the Christmas party. Because I actually went to a black tie event last night and I wore this black one. Insert a photo here. Me and Adam went for a black tie event with work last night. So that was lovely. So much fun. And I've got some new, oh, sorry, Midian, oh, nothing new there, um, with some shoes. So these are all brand new, like, I hardly ever buy anything brand new, but it was literally, like, last minute invite, um, so I had a week to get a decent dress, so I bought these off Boohoo for, like, £40. Pound. I'll link them down below, um, even so, they're going to be on my, they're going to be on my Instagram either way. And then I've got a reel of styling, faux leather trousers, so I've got one look there, um, a look with the blazer, a look with the bomber jacket. And then the last one is going to be this really cute autumn outfit. I got inspo from Hannah Renee for this. So this is such a cute look. So I'm going to wear my Holland Cooper knit. Um, and then this really cute skirt that I got from Vinted. Originally H&M. This Primark scarf. And then these boots are super cute. I feel like it's a preppy look. So yeah, really happy with that. So that's going to be another look. Look at the bedroom looking all Christmassy. So cute. I love this bedding. It's so subtle for Christmas. And then I've got my light set up here. I actually got this off eBay quite a while ago. Um, if I remember, I'll link it down below for you if you want to, if you, anyone's into like lighting setups or anything like that. It's not like the brightest, but when it's dark, you can't really notice the difference right now because it is daylight. That is my setup. I feel like I need to get a new light because I feel like sometimes this isn't bright enough. So I might need to get one of them square lights that I've seen like, that are so bright, especially for the darker days. And then I have this little tripod. That holds my phone for filming reels. I can't actually remember where this is from. Was it Asta? 
No, I don't think it was Asda. It might have been Asda, actually. I can't think of where else it was from. But yeah, this has literally been in the garden and everywhere. If we can see, it's covered in mud. <laughs> but it's fine. But yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing this morning. I need to stick you on charge. Because it's going to die. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get filming. So I need to have breakfast first. Yeah, I need to... Ow. Oh, that was so sharp. Oh, honestly, the spots on my face right now, they're so sore. Like, I've got... um milia if anyone's familiar with that like you know when you get like the hard bits in your face that are like built up something of a keratin or something i don't know but um yeah i pulled some of them out yesterday wow i'm so bad for that aren't i i mentioned that in another vlog <laughs> but i can't just have it sit there and then i regret it afterwards but i can't just have it sit in my skin i don't like it um it has to go so um anyone that's got milia let me know because um any help with that to get rid of it would be brilliant i know salicylic acid is good for that also in this vlog i should definitely do an updated skincare routine with you because i've got um a couple of new products so i'll do that if i remember um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog sorry that my mirror is literally like this we need to clean the house to be fair so um let's just pret you can't even pretend that it's not there um but yes I'm going to go have breakfast, do my face, and then get cracking with content. And it's a little while later, and we are at somewhere called Crackley Woods in Kenilworth. And I've got a really cute outfit on. I've got my Jules coat on that's from Vinted. Little cable knit uh, vest. I've got my faux leather leggings on. Some boots. Got the camera at the ready to shoot some pictures and have a lovely autumnal walk. The sun's gone behind the clouds a little bit, but it looks lovely. So glad it's not raining. So we're going to go shoot some lovely pictures. Probably... Oh, hopefully three outfits here and four somewhere else, but we shall see. Montage that I'm creating as I walk along. What you found, babe? He's on a barn or something. <laughs> I remember coming to these woods as a kid with my dad and um, my little brother. We used to come and pick the chestnuts every November, October, November, and uh, go home and peel them all and cook them, and uh, we'd have them at Christmas. I wouldn't personally eat them, but yeah, lovely memories here as a child. And look how gorgeous the sun is coming through the trees. Absolutely gorgeous. Just love coming on a country walk. Just makes you feel so wholesome. And it is a little more later. 
we're back from the food shop everything's put away apart from the fruit which i need to put away i'm planning on making my lemon and ginger shots that i made with you in my not the last vlog the vlog before um because i actually bought the little mini um what they're called mini bottles to do the shots in it comes with a little funnel as well and there's a little um little washer thing this that came with it i'll link it down below i bought it off ebay but i think i can link you the ones on amazon as well there's loads of different ones so yeah i'm gonna um, make them at some point also if you remember in my last vlog that adam treated me to a trifle dish so we are making a trifle together i've done the jelly already that's what i made previously um i put some peaches in there i'm excited to see what this is going to look like but i don't think it's going to be like high enough i think it's only going to go to like there so i don't think i've done enough firstly so let me put the fruit in the bowl i've got some lemons for making them lemon oh pears got pears for a change um chopping them around we got them for a change i also have apples that i bought last week to make apple and black blackberry crumble with which i still haven't done so hopefully i'll do that as well tomorrow but then i will we'll have maybe too many pudding ideas but you can't have too much pudding can you so oh the bananas are off yeah they're off so i'm going to show you the jelly that i used so it's this one that i picked up from asda you can get it in most places i think i think i've only seen it in asda um but it's literally like a pound for a packet and it makes this much jelly it's like a pint's worth of jelly and um, so that's what i use and i've also got the same brand here just whole foods custard but i've also got alpro custard to use up so i'm going to see if that's going to be enough oh, I love the smell of that for in here let's um lift this up so you can see what i'm doing i love how the jelly set for when we came back we got all the pictures shot as well which i'm super happy with so look out for them on my instagram cannot wait for that i need to make the whipped cream as well for this but obviously the custard's got a set first so that might be tomorrow that i make the cream i just thought i haven't got any sprinkles to put on top that would have been quite a cute little addition oh my god this is <sighs> trying to open the pack in you know and it's like really sharp on your fingers it looks like a little chicken actually The struggle here <laughs> try and get every last drop out i don't think it's going to be enough if i'm completely honest but we'll switch it about and see what we get i don't know what to make for dinner tonight either restock for ideas i also need to do my meal planner so i might do that in a minute because um it's currently 20 to 5 and we haven't got to go out till about seven because we're actually going to adam's sister-in-law's mom's birthday so we're going to go to that for a little while um, and then come back, chill out, probably watch a Christmas film. Um, we were going to go in the hot tub because Adam set it up, but it's not warm enough. It's only on like 35 degrees and considering how cold it is outside, we need it to be at least like between 38 and 40 to get in for it to be nice and warm. Mm. So tasty. So tomorrow, I completely forgot we're going to be putting up the christmas decks <laughs> mid-november i'm putting on the christmas decks i'm very excited let me know if you're excited for christmas in the comments let me know when you put your trees up very excited to know when you guys do that we don't normally do it this early to be honest but we're in the christmas mood we listen to christmas music we just thought let's put it up why not christmas needs to be longer than a month so <laughs> i'm going to do that this i'm also running out of memory so i need to delete some footage and it's almost out um but so yeah i will come back to you in a little while and that is the trifle ready. I'm not going to use this. It's going to be far too much custard. So just have a light layer of custard because it's going to have vegan whipped cream on top. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge to set until most likely tomorrow. And then I'm going to whip up this whole tub of double Elmlia, I think it is. 100% plant um, a dairy cream. This is one of my favourites. I say one of my favourites. I think this is probably the only dairy cream I've ever had. Um, dairy free cream even. Um, also picked up these in Asda. These are the, I think it's Higgedy um, rolls. Like the vegan dupe of them. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, but they're really tasty. 
Um, yeah, I didn't show you the food shop because we just got the general stuff, to be honest, like the usual veg, fruit, potatoes. Picked up these the other day from Morrison's because I had them on offer for a pound, buttermilk favourites, the caramel nugget and the chalky caramel bar. Delicious. So I have them as snacks. I really love that trifle bowl. It looks so pretty. Um, so yeah, that is what we got. And also, uh, also, also, <laughs> I'll show you what um, I've got for dinner. I completely forgot. I already decided what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm going to have a veggie tikka masala. So I'm going to have that with some cauliflower and some peas because I had a Hello Fresh recipe card a while ago that was tikka masala with um, cauliflower and peas. I thought I'll have that, have it with some rice. One of these leftover soft naans from Walbert and just stick it in the toaster. What on earth is that? Oh, it's Adam doing the hot tub. <laughs> um, and then maybe a few chicken pieces, vegan chicken pieces. I've got these reduced um, in Asda last week, I think. So I'll probably cook all of these and then the rest can go in like a stir fry or something. I just realized we didn't cook up any broccoli. Oh, that's actually just made me think. Have we got any stead? Oh, I can't get my words out. Tender stem broccoli. Oh, yes, we do. Amazing. So I'm actually having Lizzie come round. I'm actually having Lizzie come round for dinner on Tuesday. I'm so sorry if the rattling um, is like a lot because I noticed when I was editing that the microphone picks up so much of this. So I do apologise if that really annoys you because it really annoyed me too. Um, so I'll get this out for a stir fry probably tomorrow. And also making a cottage pie. Vegan cottage pie for me and Lizzie on Tuesday because I'm seeing her, which I cannot wait for. She loves to come here for dinner. Oh, I just thought I can make a crumble for when she comes. Oh, I'll have to ask her if she likes crumble, so I'll do that. If not, she's going to have a trifle, so yeah, look forward to that, Lizzie. Another thing I forgot to show you, we picked up this Kevin the Carrot advent calendar. How cute is their new Christmas ad? I literally love it. You know what? I actually can't wait for the new, is it the Willy Wonka and the... Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory film that's coming out, the new one. I can't wait for that to come out, to be honest. So, because obviously this is kind of what it's based on, Willy Wonka and the, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or whichever one. Um, but this is 129, so if you want to get your kids one, or like us, I got this for Adam, so. I was like, come oh, on, babe, I'll treat you to a little <laughs> advent calendar, and I'll get a vegan one, so. Yeah, and it's so cute. And we also picked up the um, Christmas food catalogue. Oh, my gosh all the good stuff i'm hoping that they're gonna have new vegan bits also got this one as well that's that's the one that i had last time though that was already sat in the house and then we've got the as to christmas magazine look at them putting all the effort in with the glitter so i'm gonna sit and read these and chill out for a bit watch some telly um and yeah that'll be our evening before we go out and i'll show you dinner winston as well i'm just like that dinner is done even though it did take me about half an hour to make it. But I've got cauliflower and a pea. Tikka masala, I didn't bother putting the vegan chicken in. I just wanted something quick and easy. And if I put too much stuff in it, it's not saucy enough, if that makes sense. Like it's not, there's not enough to like lap up with a, an arm bread. So I've got the naan bread and the rice. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Yum! And it's now Sunday. I was going to say Saturday then. We have been up, been to the gym, did a chest and ab session, a little bit of cardio and for five minutes walking on the treadmill. We've cleaned the house. Oh, I feel so out of breath. I've got the eucalyptus diffuser, it's called, I think, um, on upstairs and downstairs. So the house is smelling really, very like memphily. Now I'm going to make my lemon and ginger shots with you with my new little bottles i'm not feeling myself today i can't lie that's why i'm not really i'm not like as overly excited as i normally am i'm just not i've been having more and more days recently i think it's definitely to do with the weather like as you can tell yesterday was so sunny and i was so happy with the sun and today it's a bit more gloomy and it really affects my mood it does make me think that um obviously a lot of us go through sad with the um seasonal depression and things so yeah, I'm just not really feeling myself today. I had a bit of a cry this morning, I can't lie. I think I said that in my last vlog. It's just really strange how down I'm feeling. It's just, I'm not really that open with it, if I'm honest, especially online, because I do keep it to myself. Um, Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should, I don't know. But, yeah, <laughs> I'm just not feeling myself today. But I'm letting myself feel those feelings, because before I used to just push them away. And sometimes you just have to sit and feel with um your emotions, like... Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but we're going to go make some ginger and lemon shots together for the week ahead. I also want to finish off my trifle and make an apple crumble later on as well. And we're going to have a nice evening in the hot tub later. 
we've decided not to put the Christmas decks up, so that'll be in next week's vlog instead, um, because I'm just so tired as well, and just, it's gonna be too much cleaning the whole house and putting the decks up. We just want to chill out, basically, sorry for me all day, but yeah, we just want to chill, so yeah, we'll have a nice Sunday together at home, and take you along with, and make some bits together. So I'm just making the lemon ginger shots, and Adam's taught me a pretty cool technique, where you cut this, basically, like, in half like this and in half like that but obviously not to the end and then break it open and then literally pull the segments out so that's what i'm doing that's a better technique than last time this is how it's looking so far if it'll focus there we go and then i've just got the orange to go put in a teaspoon of ginger puree if you didn't watch my last vlog um i basically used three lemons one orange a teaspoon of ginger puree and maybe like half a teaspoon of turmeric and I basically put half a cup of water in there blend it like to it's a juice and then afterwards I will strain it through a sieve uh, into a big bowl and then once I've done that I'll put it into a jug and then pour it into these little bottles basically so that is the plan I will show you the finished product once it's done and that blending is done I thought I'd just show you what I actually do so it's all blended in the blender it was very very orange so i'm just gonna have a little sniff oh that smells very gingery i put a little bit more ginger in the last time so i'm just literally just pouring it through a sieve into this bowl so that it strains all the stuff out because i definitely missed some seeds in there because i could see them flying about so i'm just gonna literally put this through and it is all going through there i can see it takes its time though because um there's a lot of pull in it well there wasn't actually that much from last time but i need to spoon it about so i'll show you in a second let me just put some water in the um blender because i set that to clean i won't do it yet because it's very loud so i won't do that on camera so pop that back on there let's get a spoon i've currently got a hot chocolate on the go that is now cold chocolate not the best when it's cold but i don't want to waste it so i'm just gonna get a spoon any old spoon will do and i'll literally just move it around like this because the pulp just sits at the bottom as you can see it's straining but not by very much so i'm just gonna give it a little bit of a helping hand and it will get through it a bit easier there's a lot of pulp in this which i won't use because there's seeds in it Last time, I didn't use that pulp that I had last time, it ended up in the bin, which I felt quite guilty for. It wasn't that much waste, so. And, but I really enjoyed having these ginger and lemon shots last time. They're actually really nice, so. And they're good to have when you get up in the morning and before you eat anything, have a shot of one of these. Not line your stomach, it's just better for your digestion, I think. And because I was reading a few facts about it. So it said to have it first thing of the day and uh, especially when you suffer with IBS like I do one of the best things you can have so Yeah, this is straining nicely like can you see that pulp now? It's very thick Look at that So I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Sorry it's been like all over the place But nothing new there is there in this vlog So on this channel even But we're getting somewhere. I can't wait to put it in the bottles like that's that's the bit I'm most excited for so i think this might end up being maybe a regular occurrence i'm not sure but i didn't make it last weekend did i know um so it might not be an every week thing i say that let's see if i even carry on with it i hope i do because i've got 12 of the little bottles <laughs> so i can just see lots of bits of seeds in here <laughs> so this is definitely not going to be re reused unfortunately like i said i didn't reuse the last one but what we're going to make next is some custard to go on the trifle because I realised it definitely was not a lot of custard. So, and the custard that I'm going to make, um, it will be used for the apple crumble later anyway. So, oh, I can't wait for some crumble. We're going to make a roast dinner as well. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Sorry, this is just literally a really weird angle. Why do I look like, is it Legolas out of um, Lord of the Rings right now? <laughs> So I think we're not going to get much else out of this, to be quite honest, because it's literally just dribs and drabs here and there. If I do it in one plate, there we go. Give it a bit of a squish. There's so much pork this time. But I did use 
I literally put all the segments in it, so it's a bit more waste than the last one. I think that'll do. I'm going to put this in the bin and then we will funnel it into the little bottles and see how many we get. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this into this jug. Now, the reason why I didn't pour this, I didn't do it over the jug in the first place, is because the sieve is too big for the jug, so I have to do it this way. So that is that done. Even though it makes a lot of washing up, it's fine. So here's my little bottles I'm going to be using with the little funnel that it came with. So I'm just going to open this bottle up place it here can you see that yeah i'm just gonna do it like this make sure i don't make a right mess here cute and there we have it a little shot of the lemon and ginger shots <laughs> basically let's see if i can put the lid on properly how cute oh that's adorable <laughs> sell these make a little business <laughs> So I'm literally just gonna do this in as many as I can and then I'll come back to you with how many I made. Okay, I made less than I realized. I've only got four, or oh, not even four. Like that one is not a full bowl. So maybe next time I'll do twice as much so I can get at least a week's worth. So if I just double the ingredients next time, then it'll make more so even so i'm very happy with these these will do me for a few days for the week so at least i know that now i'll need to double what i used before so yeah oh actually i just thought i could mm, i was just thinking i could just make another one and try it with pure lemon juice orange you know what let's give that a go i'm gonna try it without doing that we'll try orange juice let's do it this way let's do it the, the lazy way and see if it actually works as well so if I pour that out, because I need a cup worth that anyway. So we've got a cup's worth of water. If I just pour it in there, how much juice is it going to make me want? Let's just say... What's the same to Bill? A little bit of lemon juice. This is just me winging it, by the way. Let's just see if the, the lazy root works and it tastes the same. So, just to see if it works. How much of this do we need, though? Oh, I'll do another 100 ml of that. And then we'll do a bit of turmeric. Let's just say, oh, half a teaspoon. A teaspoon of this, or thereabouts. This is literally me being lazy now. I can't be off. I can't be bothered to make another one. I'd like to have um, more of this for the week. So I'm just going to give this a go and hope for the best. So let's blend it again and see what happens. Because this won't need blending as much. But I'm definitely going to have to sieve it again because there's bits from the last round. So let's give it a go and I'll come back to you. So I've made it. I'm just going to try and literally a scoop of it. Oh, it's going to drip. It's very similar, but not as strong. It's more watery. It's definitely better doing it the other way, but that is like a quick and easy way of doing it. Literally the same thing and not sour. Probably could have done with a lot more lemon lemon juice and not... not. I did use a cup of water there, so I'm going to put them in my shots and use it. I've got a whole pint's worth this time. <laughs> this will leave me for the week now. And we're done. So can you tell the difference between each one like which one do you think is the one that we just tried out or the one that was the real ingredients basically because i was telling you now i could tell a massive difference because these ones are the ones we did first obviously you can tell anyway because that's a smaller one but it's so much thicker and more vibrant in color whereas this one's very like this one's very diluted and the turmeric doesn't um blend as well so it just goes to show that it's definitely better doing it from scratch because I don't think I'll be doing it the easy way again. But I'll still drink them either way. But you can tell a massive difference. So, yeah, either way, I'm excited the fact that I've got nine of them to get me go keep me going for the week. So, 
Oh, yeah, I had to double check then. But yeah, look how cute these little bottles are. Yeah, very happy with that. But yeah, I can tell the massive difference. So now we're going to make custard to go in the trifle so that can set whilst I make the crumble. All right, so we've got the Just Whole Foods custard and I've got some soy milk. So it says on the back how to make it. We need a pint of our preferred milk, vegan milk, obviously. The soy one. And we're just going to, in a bowl, place four heaped teaspoons of vanilla custard powder and one teaspoon, tablespoon, sorry, of raw cane sugar. Add a splash of milk and mix to a smooth paste. Bring the rest of the milk almost to a boil, then pour onto the custard mix. Okay, so, right, let's get this on the hob and then we'll make the other bit. And the custard's done, so I'm just going to peel and core these apples. I say core, I haven't got a core thing, so I'm just going to peel and cut them, sorry. Um, put them in a pan with the blackberries that I got in the freezer I've reduced the other week. I'm going to put a pear in there too, just for good measure, because I would have put six apples in, but I don't have six. Um, so I'm going to put a pear in instead, because it's just as nice. I'm going to put some ground cinnamon in there, not got much left. And then a few teaspoons of some sugar and put it on the hob for a little bit, soften them, and then I'll make the mix to go on the top. Crumble is ready to go in the oven later. It's a bit, not like how I'd normally do it with like fully crumbly sort of topping, but I followed a different recipe. And it said to use melted butter. I can't say I'll be doing this again, but I hope it's gonna taste nice. All the washing up is done, made a right mess. <laughs> I just need to do some whipped cream for the trifle when the custard is set, because I've done that as well. That's in the setting away. It looks much better with a thicker base now. And then the cream will be about that thick anyway. So I'll do that in a little while. I've been eating a few of these. And now I'm going to go sit and um, edit and watch the tell you thing. And all my shots are in here. Oh my God, you can see the difference now. <laughs> Massive difference in colour. Like that's so diluted and that isn't. Yeah. Mm. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. a wonderful delight For go Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden If I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say That I love you Ooh, ooh You Ooh, ooh So slow you in my arms won't let go The world around could pass us by A thunderstorm, a lightning strike As we hold each other So as you will see, we are making the roast dinner now Which I'm so excited for So I have a pot of leek, kale, cabbage and peas in there Ready to go on the hob I just realised that the handle is a little bit wobbly So I need to fix that I literally just screw it with a knife. Um, sometimes I'm present with a screwdriver and I'm just like, no, stick a knife in it, it's fine. Um, it does the job. So I wanted to show you what I do with my carrots and parsnips. So I'm just gonna stick them in this saucepan. I'm gonna show you how I make them roasted because I do it a little bit differently. I, it may be the same for some people, but I tend to use, instead of like, I want to honey glaze them, but I'm not using honey. I'm doing it the vegan way. So I use either um, golden syrup or agar syrup. And today it's gonna be agar syrup. I'm gonna use this one, the Clark's one. And I basically use a bit of that in there, drizzle it all over. It's probably about a tablespoon's worth. Um, and then I will get the salt and pepper out. Basically just grind a little bit of that over them. And then I cover them in olive oil, basically. And I do the exact same for the potatoes, but without the agar syrup, obviously. Because I don't really like sweet potatoes. But 
that's how you do it. I'm just literally, I need a spoon, what am I doing? So I'm just going to literally mix it all around and then pop it on the baking tray and do the exact same for the potatoes, but obviously without the agar syrup. So they're going to be coated very, very nicely. They taste delicious. And what I tend to do is when they're ready, and I want them a little bit more crispy, I stick the grill on the oven for a good five minutes and it's chef's kiss, honestly, just try it. It's so good. So I'm gonna do this. We're gonna hop in the hot tub. I've done the whipped cream for the trifles. I'm gonna pop that on there as well so that that's set. So we can have either trifle or crumble for pudding. And that will be this evening's dinner. Just like that, the trifle is done. I've topped it with a little bit of grated vegan chocolate. Dinner is on the go. Two trifle, uh, two trifle, two pudding selections, and uh, we're now going to get in the hot tub and chill. Yay! This is our cute little self leaving. Yay! I'm going to get my book. And it is in fact the next day, but pretty much the same time. So as I said, I would show you my skincare routine. I've literally just cleansed my face using the Lacura Vitamin C Hot Cloth Cleanser. I literally use this with a muslin cloth. And in the morning, I only do this in the morning, I use this BHA toner, which has got salicylic acid in it. This is £10 from Superdrug. I'll leave all these bits linked down below if you want to get them yourself. But this is my absolute go-to when I have spots. I mentioned it in a previous vlog. But this lasts me ages, so worth the £10. And I basically get a cotton pad and just swipe it over my face like this. A little bit on the um, eyebrow area. I keep getting like milia spots under my skin, so that really, really helps get rid of that. And I get a lot of hormonal breakouts here. Salicylic acid has been really good for my skin, so especially since like I've been to do facials and this and how good it was. So that is something I highly recommend using, even if you don't break out. It's such a good thing to use on your skin. Then also in the morning, I use these eye drops from Optrex. I don't use these every day. I use them more for when my eyes need a bit of like waking up, especially in the morning. So like it's the only time of the day that I use them, but I don't use them every day. So they're good for brightening the eyes. Bringing you into the dressing room, we have my little beauty fridge where I have quite a few little beauty things. And what I like to use at night is this Loxatan Reset Serum. This is my absolute go-to at night time. I use two to three pumps and basically let it set in my skin before I put my moisturiser on. I definitely want to get better at this because sometimes I'm in a rush to go into bed or go and do things downstairs. Speaking of, I've got pasta on that. <laughs> I need to go and check. Um, but I literally let this soak into my skin. It is an absolute godsend, this serum. I've raved about it so many times on my channel that I absolutely love it. I couldn't recommend it enough. I've also got a different serum in here that I'm not using until my... Ooh, there goes my toner um another serum here from loxatan i don't know if you can see what it says there immortal divine serum that's also really nice that is pretty much a full bottle so i haven't used that yet so i want to finish using the other one because if i use too many serums my face gets a bit clogged up so my moisturizer of choice is this liqueura moisture boost now this is basically a dupe of the clinique moisture surge gel moisturizing gel if i'm not mistaken um, but this is the consistency of it. I mean, you can see that very well. But yeah, it's like a little gel. And that is what I use on my skin. I'm just going to look in the mirror and do this to make sure I'm getting it in all the right spots. Don't want to miss anything. Also, never ever forget to moisturise your neck, ladies and gents. It'll prevent the ageing. <laughs> Something my mum has always taught me. And also seen lots of beauty vloggers say that as well. But no, I think Chloe. Also, one more thing that um, I mentioned in, a, in my previous vlog. I'm also using this new SPF from L'Oreal, which I use in the morning as well. So, and I also love to spritz myself with a bit of perfume. I know this is probably, for some people, it's a waste. But a few spritzes of perfume to smell nice in the evening is lovely. So, I use this Jimmy Choo one. Um, I can't actually remember what this bottle's called, but it's a fave so i'm gonna go make dinner um, i'm actually gonna edit then make dinner um yeah so i might as well show you the rest of the evening we have come to the end of today's video i didn't end up ending it so i'm just editing it now so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a big thumbs up comment down below don't forget to subscribe and i see you very very soon for a brand new video which will be a london vlog so see you then good good time Doesn't matter if